Gabriela. I am from Venezuela. Today I will tell you about the politics of my country. Let's start this wonderful adventure. The form of government that he has is the presidential republic. The currency of my country is the Bolivar. The national symbols of Venezuela are the flag, the shield, and the national flowers. The flag is formed by the colors yellow, blue, and red. In the center of the blue are four white five-pointed stars in the shape of an arc. The national coat of arms is divided in two, two quarters that represent justice, truth, loyalty, in the first quarter and the lower one in white symbolic period, faint integers and first the national flower is the Catleya. Thank you for joining me and that little time. Goodbye. Mi piel y el cuatro en el corazón Lleva en mi sangre la espuma del mar Y tu horizonte en mis ojos No envidio el vuelo ni el nido al turbial Soy como el viento en la miel Voy a dedicar mi canto A mi patria y mi bandera. My name is Juanita and that's my video of the National International Day. I'm going to explain the geography of Venezuela. First, the political division. Venezuela is, lo is a federal republic that is located in South America. This country is divided into federal entities and has 23 states. And the next, the territory. The territory of Venezuela is located in the north of South America. Its limit is very close to the line of the, of the terrestrial equator. It is part of the intertropical zone. Uh, next, the borders. Uh, Venezuela is lim its limits with Colombia, Brazil, and Guyana. And the maritime borders are Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Sea. Uh, next, the capital, Caracas is the capital and the most populous city of Venezuela. Uh, and the last one, uh, I have uh, images of the of uh, places of Venezuela. Uh, here are the Margarita, the Margarita Island, the Rocas Beach, the Angel Jam, the Medellinos of Goro, and the Lulayman Bolivar. Thanks for watching and that's all. Villano, qué lindo eres, qué lindo es el ser llanero. Hi, my name is David. I'm going to explain you the presentation of customers on Venezuela. My my dish is creole pavilion. This is creole pavilion. of Venezuela is the Creole Pavilion. History. The history of the Creole Pavilion dates back to colonial times, probably from the 18th century, according to what is said. 
It is basically grouping of the lexemes from various Hebraic slates of the Archangras ingredients. Rice. Banana, mmm, the meat, mmm, delicious. Bye bye. Llanura que me has parido y que te quiero de veras. Caracas, Venezuela, on November 19, in 17, My parents are Antonia Lopez and the lower and prosecute Bartolome Bello. I am interested in use of literature, science, and law. I was intellectual, science, and academy graduate from Bachelor of Arts in 1,800 self taught English and French. They have carried my intellectual literature of Latin. I have class to the liberator Simon Bolivar is from America. Premise me as great philosophic and grammar exceptional merits. The educator of people, the philosopher of Hispanic American culture. The author of international law, the distinguished, the historian, the historian, the poet, the diplomat, and the scholar. I did in October 15, in 1865, in Santiago de Chile. Hello friends, thanks for following me on the network. Today I want to tell my story to all my followers. This is Maria Carolina Josefina Bacane. Child best known to you as Carolina Herrera. I was born on January 8, 1939 in Caracas. I am recognized as the worldwide Hispanic fashion designer because I founded my own house in 1981 in the United States. I had a lot of support from my father, Commander Guillermo Pacani San Casimiro. Since I was little, and also thanks for my grandmother, I was at many galafaris and I always had how to put your dresses. I think that my love for fashion, glamour, and beauty was for me so I married at 18 years old and I have four daughters. Two for my first marriage and then I married the Venezuelan aristocrat Fernanda Vera, editor of Vanity Fair magazine, with who I had two other daughters. I was already on the list of the world's best present women. I am a simple woman, loved of my family and a great housewife. In addition to fashion, I focused on creating new scents, discovering the most exquisite performance in the world. I will leave you a short example of my latest collection. Do not forget to follow me and leave your comments in the next video. I will tell you more about my life. I love you. Don't forget, my name is Carolina Herrera. See you soon.
Daniela Costa and on the National and International Day, I was given the subject of art from Venezuela. Art in Venezuela dates back to the sets of Aboriginal people that populate North Colombia, North Venezuela, and the Lisen and Chiles. Next, I talk about renowned painters from Venezuela. Cristóbal Rojas Poleo was a Venezuela painter. Hugo along with Arturo Michelena, Martín Tobar y Tobar, and Antonio Herrera Toro. Dominate the pictorial practice at the end of the 19th century in Venezuela. He was born on December 15, 1858, and died on November 8, 1890. Technique. He made his first solace with a still somewhat primitive thing in which he captured the events of the ruins of Cuba and ruins of the Temple of Mercy. One of the painting is called El Purcato. Hector Paleo was a Venezuela painter was work developed in the pictorial trend of surrealism. He was born on June 20, 1918 and died on May 26, 1989. Technique abstract geometry. This painting is called Los Tres Comisarios. And finally, we have Mercedes Pardo Ponte. She was a Venezuela painter recognized as one of the most prestigious and representative in abstract art, especially in the 1950 and 1960. She, the, she received the National Prize for Plastic Art in 1978. She was born on the 29th June. 1821 and I away on March 24, 2005. And the painting of her. I hope you like it. Hello, my name is Diana and today I am going to speak to you about the dance of Venezuela, especially the one of the Joropo. The Joropo is a type of dance with music that is characteristic and traditional of the Venezuelan nation, which identify is in international previous. The party that was celebrated in the Venezuela plains was called a Joropo where it was the only was to celebrate and walk together with those close to, to you or close their origin. This was probably to the 1700s when the population of the Venezuela Penn State preferred to talk horrible. Instead of Van Van Gogh, the parties and together they helped with their friends and the family. Vamos a unir. 